Okay, next up. Next up, we have a product for women and men, and it is called Be Fresh. It is a deodorant spray. It's a deodorant spray. Now, let's talk about antiperspirants. Let's talk about deodorants real quick. Okay, so an antiperspirant uh, slash deodorant is... Oh, no, 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 no slash. An uh, antiperspirant. An uh, antiperspirant is designed to stop you from perspiring, right? So if you're going to stop <laughs> yourself from perspiring, you are clogging up your pores. You are clogging up your lip noise. Now keep in mind, I told you on another video that the blood has an end. Things can go inside of your bloodstream, but the lip noid is designed to be your out. The things that <laughs> are toxic that it's trying to expel out of you comes through the lip noids, right? But you have a bright idea or we one day have a bright idea that we're going to get antiperspirant to stop the stuff from coming out and clog it up. Bad idea. Bad idea. Because now in the inside, everything's toxic. Everything's just going bad. Now the antiperspirant, we, the, the body is trying to sweat through the antiperspirant still, you know, and it's like, oh my gosh, where are we going to put these toxins? Where are we going to send them? Meanwhile, the bowel compacted, you know, mean, meanwhile, you know, the skin has eczema, you know, everything just starts to just deteriorate from the inside though, from the inside, because now the lymphatic system is not working. So I strongly suggest that you move from an antiperspirant to a deodorant that will allow your body to release toxicity via your lip noise because you have a gang of lip noise underneath your armpit, right? Let me tell you what's going to happen though. When you move from antiperspirant to a deodorant, oh, it's going to be like a leaky faucet. Oh, you're going to stink. Oh, you're going to stink, baby, because you have a whole bunch of stuff inside of that that you was closing up. It's almost like having a container in the refrigerator, Tupperware, something that you had maybe, let's see, some gumbo. You know, that, that, that New Orleans kind of gumbo with turkey necks and wieners and, and, and pork and sausage and, and okra and chitlins and whew, one of those kind of gumbos, like, right? A big old gumbo with all kinds of meats, you know, basically dead animals. And so we put that lid on that, you put it in the refrigerator. A month later, you start to smell it. Then the smell starts to protrude through the whole house eventually, right? right? Probably by that month. And so you can't just, well, I guess you can if you're nasty, ignore the smell. If you're nasty, you're just going to ignore the smell. But if you want to clean it up, you're going to eventually have to take that lid off of that. You're going to have to clean it with, with some type of detergent, right? If you really want to get to the root of why your house is stinking. Well, it's no different with deodorants or anti coming from antiperspirants to a deodorant. Your house is going to stink because the lid now has been taken off. The lid, a.k.a. the antiperspirant that was clogging up the pores, clogging up the lymphatic system. It's off. So it's going to sink. It's going to run out. You're going to smell it. But Be Fresh is designed to <laughs> cleanse the lymphatic system. Be Fresh is designed to eliminate odors. It is designed to kill that bacteria underneath your arm. And so with that in mind, now you have a backup system. This is AKA your detergent that you was using for your um, the Tupperware to clean it out. This is the detergent here because inside of it, it has a proprietary blend of herbs that's gonna assist you too, to cleanse that blood, to cleanse the blood, to cleanse the lymphatic system. And so you won't be walking around smelling like that old container that was in the refrigerator. And so I encourage you to purchase you some Be Fresh. If you're on a journey coming off that antiperspirant, I encourage you come off and wean yourself off. Wean yourself off. Some people go back because they're like, oh no, it's, I, I was starting to smell. Even if you have to just at least put, put it on every two to three days or skip a day with your antiperspirant, 
Go, go slow. Go slow with it if that's what you have to do. Skip a day. Then skip two or three days. Then skip four days. But you need you to work on weaning yourself off or not wearing any deodorant and just letting yourself rip when you're not around nobody at all. You know, when you're home, maybe for the day. And then when you go, you put your deodorant on because you have to get to a point where you are cleaning that container, a.k.a cleansing your lymphatic system because if you don't things will get stagnated in there and that's where sicknesses and diseases can start inside of your body because you have that container in there that you would never took the lid off and never cleaned it okay so i really wanted to give you the understanding of that antiperspirants or a no-no stay away from those antiperspirants with aluminum inside of them get you some type of vegan aluminum free deodorant and i created one for you from my heart to yours it's called be fresh check it out on my website babe be blessed